<clears throat> many of you will likely be set on a Quest 2 for your first VR headset, and many of you have likely already purchased an Oculus Quest 2. Yet the question that myself and so many other VR channels are asked more than questions Mark Zuckerberg is asked in court is what Quest 2 accessories should I buy? So instead of making a two hour long overly analytic video detailing every single Quest 2 accessory to ever exist, instead for you I'm laying out the most influential and most currently prominent Quest 2 accessories that are commonly bought online that you should at least consider buying into a good old classic tier list for you guys to easily understand and help make your descent into the VR world just a little bit easier. And talking about making things easier, synth riders have made it even easier for you guys to get their game for totally free by giving the biggest chimp on YouTube, me, another key to give away to you guys. If you want to win, just drop a comment down below on what quest to accessory in this video would you deem as an S on this tier list in your own opinion, as well as of course having liked and subscribed as I'll be picking you from my subscribers list. So each item will get a ranking from S to D, S being the highest and D being the lowest. And some on this list are extremely low. I'm surprised so many users end up falling for some of these accessories in the first place. These rankings will be based off of my previous reviews of these products in past videos and are all my own personal opinion. So you're completely welcome to disagree with this list and buy any of these products anyway with no judgment from myself. So first up on this list is the severely underrated Quest 2 Mall Staff. If you play things like Beat Saber like myself and ever want an extra way to play and mix things up, picking up one of these is definitely worth the money. I don't have a Quest 2 version of this staff on hand as I cut mine up and I attached Vive trackers onto it so I could do this dumb stuff with my Valve Index over at my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash get hip. Easy flick plug, you see that? As well as having added a joint in the middle to allow me to split these apart and go into regular two sabers whenever I I want. Big brain plays. But if you own a Quest 2, I'd recommend the Mool Staff made by ProTube, which is the one that I ended up modifying to fit these Vive trackers. But they make controller cup holders for any VR headset to ever exist, including, of course, the Quest 2. Mool mode is an insane amount of fun, but should definitely be played with care, as not only can you whack yourself in the old nuts, but also making sure that your controllers are properly attached and won't fly out faster than Mark Zuckerberg chasing you for your personal information. <laughs> Holy sh**. The Quest 2 Mall Staff gets an S for being some of the most fun I've ever had in VR ever, besides whacking myself in the nutsack a few times. That's not fun. So next up is, of course, the Elite Strap made by Oculus themselves. I can't not include this one on this list, as it's definitely been a point of controversy, as reports of it snapping after a few months of use clash with all of the incredibly positive reviews that hold this as the holy grail of Quest 2 head straps. Oculus is aware of the issue and has been offering replacements to users that have experienced breakages but have yet to confirm the issue has been fixed on the production line and buying an elite strap right now seems to be essentially gambling but provided it doesn't snap on you after a few months of use this is still a very solid option besides the fact that it's still $50 which is double the price of most other third party options so because of the breakages and the still pretty high price tag yet comfortable design this controversial head strap gets a C on this accessories tier list. Next up up is the Quest 2 gun attachments. These are surprisingly popular on Amazon as many users seem to think that it helps assist with their aim in games and adds far more realism. Though after testing these out a few videos ago, uh, I can confirm that these do none of those things. <laughs> but do look dope as hell until you realize that you're never going to see them once the headset is on in the first place. I found these add too much weight to the end of my controllers and would often result in sluggish movement on my part and consistently nearly hit myself in the face with them. I can't see in any dimension where these would be effective in any way besides being a cool way to accidentally whack yourself in the nuts again <laughs> like I did multiple times using these. The Quest 2 gun attachments get a painful D on this tier list. <laughs> Next up on this list is my personal nemesis of Quest 2 accessories that I wish more of you guys didn't fall for online, and that's these Beat Saber handles that supposedly help help your- I can't finish this sentence because I can't believe how dumb it is- help improve your playing in Beat Saber. <laughs> 
look, these will not help you in Beat Saber at all, as their weight and length make it far harder to perform quick flicks and hit notes and make even some patterns impossible to hit. I will give these some credit, however, as in some games that aren't Beat Saber, that include sword fighting games like Blade and Sorcery, they do add a nice level of immersion, though that immersion is very quickly diminished once you whack yourself in the nutsack, yes again, with another one of these goddamn accessories. I'm starting to think that these are intentionally out to get me at this point. These Beat Saber handles get a C on this list due to their immersion use in certain games like Blade and Sorcerer. Next up is the Amazon Silicone Face Cover. I say Amazon as there are quite a few different brands selling essentially the same products on Amazon. The default faceplate for the Quest 2 has been consistently slammed online for its sweat absorbance and skin irritation, both on the type of material that's used, becoming sandpaper on skin and causing skin irritation, but also some users even having an allergic reaction to the material used in the first place. A replacement face cover is a must-have for this headset and will only run you around $15 on Amazon. So I would suggest checking out VR Cover as well as they supply full face pad replacements that can provide a much better fit and help improve light bleed and visibility within the headset. Not sponsored at all, I just love their products, they're sick. A replacement face cover is by far one of the most important accessories on this list, whether it be VR Cover or a silicone cover from Amazon. So either of these get a S for being a true ultimate accessory. Next up is these Quest 2 grip handles. These have become increasingly popular within the Quest 2 community on places like Amazon as these seem to provide a more Valve Index controller-like feel to the Quest 2 touch controllers and can genuinely help with gripping controllers, especially if you play a lot of games like Beat Saber where your hands are prone to sweat and you don't like wearing wrist straps for some reason. That said, these aren't exactly crucial accessories to have and are more of an extra accessory you could pick up if you had some spare cash as the touch controllers by default are pretty damn good. The Quest 2 hand straps get a solid B on this list as they are good, but definitely not something you need to rush out and buy right away. Now, likely the most important item on this tier list, the generic Amazon head strap. Like I said, I'm just rolling these Amazon options into one as from my past experiences, even with small variations in design, many of these end up performing very similarly anyway. The Amazon head strap is usually pretty cheap, coming in at around $20 to $30 and can be a pain to install properly, but once installed, generally provide a much better fit and level of comfort than the migraine inducing default strap. Like seriously, get rid of this hunk of junk as quickly as humanly possible. The Amazon strap, although being leaps and bounds better than the default strap, can usually be uh, made of pretty cheap plastic and can add a good bit of unbalanced weight to the headset as a whole. So much so that I quickly switched to a lighter option as my pathetic limp neck struggled with fast side to side movements in games like Thrill of the Fight as I continuously felt like I was on the brink of giving myself whiplash. So the Amazon strap gets a solid B on this list as it's definitely better than the default strap and won't break as often as the Elite strap, but is hindered by its uneven weight distribution and generally cheaper material. Next up is a Quest 2 gun stock. This is a commonly overlooked Quest 2 accessory as unfortunately many of these are pretty pricey, but in recent months have become far more affordable and are definitely worth the investment if you play any FPS games at all, as not using one puts you at a solid disadvantage to many other players. Having a physical stock to rest against and help line up your shots in games like Pavlov and Onward make me truly feel like a real life shroud and honestly feel unfair at times. I mean, look at this quick scope I pulled off. If you have the cash spare, I'd definitely check out people like ProTube VR as they sell an amazing magnetic stock that allows you to quickly reload while using it and has been my daily driver for a while now for both my Index and my Quest. There are, however, some great options like Mammoth VR as well and some much cheaper third party options that have also received plenty of positive reviews as well. The Quest 2 stock gets an A as it's definitely an insanely OP extra accessory, but it's generally pretty high price tag and not being anywhere near as important as a new head strap or face cover keeps it in an A. Next up is an item that I've checked out in the past and I genuinely really love and I think they're doing something really cool here and that's these dope anti-glare, anti-blue light prescription lenses by VR Wave. These lenses are pretty damn perfect for anyone that needs a prescription lens in VR as using glasses with the Quest 2 even with the provided glasses spacer can still be a super risky endeavor and often results in a completely wrecked lens. These VR wave lenses can be attached right on top of the original Quest 2 lenses via magnets and can easily be swapped out and cleaned all while uninterrupting the visuals of the Quest 2. This is also important for people who don't need glasses in VR at all as blue light has been shown to be increasingly more harmful to our eyes and our overall sleep cycle. So even if you don't need glasses, this is definitely something you should look into as well for the blue light filters. These can also be customized to your heart's 
discontent with your own prescription, different blue light filters, and even anti-glare filters. I'm looking at you, Valve Index, you glare-inducing son of a bitch. They can also be custom-made to fit virtually any VR headset ever, and obviously, including the Quest 2. These are particularly useful if you suffer with nearsightedness, farsightedness, and, and stigmatism. And VR Wave being extra freaking cool, have even sponsored this segment in the video. So huge thanks to VR Wave for supporting my <laughs> dumb nutsack whacking channel. I really do appreciate it. VR Wave also have full worldwide shipping and you get 5% off with code get hip at VRWave.store. I have a, like, I have a code with my name on it. Like a real YouTuber that actually knows what they're doing. Like what the f VR Wave, of course, gets an S on this tier list, as even if I wasn't sponsored by them, I would still be giving them an S for being such an awesome product. Okay, so finally is my personal favorite on this tier list, and that's my own head strap that I use by AMVR that I've used almost every day for the last, like, three, four months or so. This attaches right onto the back of the default strap and is a perfect fit for the back of my head. So much so that I wouldn't be surprised if AMVR somehow snuck into my house at night to take a sculpt of my head It's so perfect. Wait, did they? This is by far the best head strap solution that I've found for the Quest 2 so far, especially as it comes in at only around $15 to $20. I know it sounds like I'm sponsored by them or something, but I just f***ing love this thing. This head strap easily gets an S on this list for its low price point and super comfortable design. Bonus item for the tier list, and honestly, in my opinion, likely the most important one for any Quest 2 user to help boost your skill level in any Quest 2 game, and that's the new exclusive Get Hip merch, baby! This in instantaneously gets an S on this list for being pure swag made out of the softest, comfiest material probably developed by aliens or something. It even says become hip in Japanese for extra swag points. So if you want to pick up the merch, the link is in the description down below. So far, one person has actually bought the merch, which is one person more than I actually thought would buy this. So thank you, whoever that one person is. It means a lot that someone would actually buy something that I made, even if it be one person. Anyway, if you want to win yourself that synth artist key, just drop a comment down below with what would be your S tier Quest 2 accessory, as well as having, of course, liked and subscribed, as I'll be picking users from my subscribers list. And the winner from the last video's giveaway is Quen2. I'll be contacting you through the reply to that comment and over on your channel discussion page, so feel free to respond to me through either of those two avenues. Thank you for getting to this point in the video. I really do appreciate you keep the watch time nice and high, which keeps these videos recommended, so thank you. Okay, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye-bye. Also, thank you everyone that's shown up to the Twitch recently. I've tried to plug it in these videos a little bit more to try and generate some awareness that I actually stream relatively regularly over on my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash get hit. Thank you everyone that's shown up so far. As well as my Discord, I have a Discord which I'm super active in. Feel free to at me and ask any questions there. Link in the description down below. I also have a Twitter and Instagram. Links for those in the description down below. I'm going to peace out because I got to work on this video. I got to do the thumbnail. And I got to do the editing and I got to do the overlay footage. And I got to go find the clips and I got I to gotta do a lot of work. Okay, so I'm going to get out of here before uh, I pass.